Well, here it is, July 3rd, 2013. It's, uh, what time is it? 7.20 in the morning. Dug myself into a little bit of a hole here. The, uh, the GMC Motorhome is a front-wheel drive vehicle. But I have brought along some implements of destruction here. I have a shovel and a couple of pieces of, uh, Expanded metal is what they call that. I'm going to use that as a traction mat. I'm going to try to drag myself out and uh, pull myself forward a little bit, cut my wheels, turn, and then drive out this way. At least uh, that's the plan. But first, I think I might do a little bit of wasp hunting with my uh, wasp spray. Okay, with some digging out, I think I might be able to back up and pull forward now. <sighs> now all I have to do is work up the courage to get inside there with God knows how many flying insects. Do not leave home without it. There's a bit of a problem. It fogs up too bad. I can't see. So, once more into the breach, dear friends. <laughs> oh God, why? If there was somebody else here, I would give them a hundred dollars to do this right now, cash. It's like I can hear them in here. My wife said they were flying all over the place last time we tried to move it out. And my wife says, well, they're disturbed, baby, from, you know, trying to move the coach. And I asked, what the hell do you think they're going to do when, when I'm driving the thing? Oh, hell. Okay, let's be honest. I am exceedingly unlikely to be able to hit anything with this. I'm just going to have to just man up and get in there and hope for the best. This is the only thing I'm afraid of in the whole world. I'm not afraid of snakes. I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of the dark. Okay. All right. Sitting down. Okay. Okay. Reverse. forward.
Alright. Well, that didn't work. Yeah. Maybe if I took that wood out and just dug out a ramp. <sighs> okay. She's out. <laughs> All right, where to go? Witness the power of this fully armed and operational battle station. This is... Okay. Alright. I'm glad I got that door shut. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. Alright, I'm trapped in here now. No easy way out. I'm stuck. Alright, cut the wheels. Oh, come on. Okay, that should be enough. No! <laughs> Kneel before Zod, son of Jarrell! Okay, I think this will do for the time being. <sighs> Won't Tom and Marilyn be proud of me? Okay. So this is what it looks like sitting on level ground. We have a new and interesting problem. Uh, I'm parked in the wrong place. I've got to move to 46. I pulled into the wrong spot. And when I came out to crank it, I get nothing. I mean, I got the, I got something I got some juice in the batter, but it's not making any noise at all. The solenoid's not clicking or nothing. And it's a fairly new battery, and it's been starting no problem and running like a champ. All those times I started and stopped it over there at the other storage facility. And we drove over here, and I got nothing. I don't know what's going on. But the lot manager, I don't know if he has a sense of humor, and he may be kind of been out of shape about the fact that I'm in the wrong spot. Success. The Royale is moved. It is now safely ensconced in its new home at whatever storage facility this is. The name escapes me. P. 
Pilahatchee Bay. Alrighty. Now, uh, one had a problem previously. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't know that was open. open. How about that? I'll have to look into that. Um, it had trouble cranking. Sweetheart, will you do me a favor? Will you attempt to crank this here vehicle? It's the square one. Now don't go nowhere because my head's going to be underneath it, okay? Thank you, sweetheart. Ugh. Now. Ugh. All right, hit it. All right, kill it. Well, I didn't see any sparks that time, but there were sparks previously. Thank you, love heart. And now all I have to do is get to put the green one right there between this bird and this camper. I gotta do it all over again with the Palm Beach. Hooray! Thank you so much Tom and everybody for all the help. And thank you for your help sweetheart and your kind support. Could not have done it without you. Love you sweetie.